Pixels invaded Joker prison in Spain. The first words you see are a few words. Spain is situated in the southwestern regions of Europe. It is flanked by the Atlantic Ocean and the Bay of Biscay in the northwest and by the Med Mediterranean Sea in the east and in the south. Spain is marginally greater than double than the extent of o Oregon. This capital town Madrid is arranged on the central plateau and Barcelona, another real city, is in the upper east by the Balearic Sea. Madrid and Barcelona are the main Spanish urban communities with a populace over a million. Spain is occupying the greater part of the Iberian Peninsula and Spain is the third largest country in Europe with an area of 504,782 square kilometers. This total area includes the Balearic Sea Island in the Western Mediterranean Sea and the Canary Islands in the Atlantic Ocean. The land cover I used in this project does not include the Balearic Island. The capital city in Spain is Madrid, located in the center of the country. The Spanish land covers extend 1,000 and 85 kilometers from east to west and 950 kilometers from north to south. Spain has a total coastline of 4,964 kilometers and the total land boundary of 1,918 kilometers. And most boundaries in Spain are water. The geographic coordinates of Spain latitude is 40 degrees north of the equator and the Four degrees from the long longitude from the is latitude forty degrees Meridian. north of the equator and longitude four degrees west on the Greenwich Meridian. The major majority of Spain's peninsula region consists of highland plateau divided by mountain ranges. Other landforms include contracted coastal plains and some lowland river valleys and the most prominent of which is the Andalusian Plain in the southwest. Spain can be <laughs> divided. <laughs> Spain can be divided into ten natural regions, and these regions are commonly grouped into four types: the lowland regions, the islands, the Masseter Central, and the associated mountains and other mountainous regions. Spain's land use shows a majority of cultivated and managed areas in the central and southern regions, where sparse herbaceous or sparse shrubland is also located on the lower southern regions. In the northern regions of Spain, there is a dense tree cover, broadleafed, as well as tree cover, needle leafed evergreen. The purpose of this exercise is to create proposed reserves for future conservations. The main task is to pre prepare systematic conservation planning projects. The first important thing I did was to prepare the conservation planning units using hexagons. I prepared this conservation planning units based on making a river basin layer and a WWF ecoregions for my country, Spain. The next step was to select conservation targets which are endemic species. To identify the endemic species in Spain, I use the living national treasures. The International Union of Conservation of Nature, also known as the IUCN, helps to find the map distributions for the species. I have 20 species which are endemic in Spain. I prepared a land cover for Spain and I downloaded the shaped files from divagis.org. From Diva I downloaded mask land cover, inland water, rails and roads. I used all of these to create Spain land cover. I first converted these files to vector and then after to raster. raster. I then reclassed all the raster files and I overlaid all the reclassed raster files to produce Spain land use. I then downloaded the ecoregions for Spain from WWF ecoregions shapefile. I needed these for the ecological unit to run Boxan. I used ArcViewGIS to cut Spain ecoregions from the world's ecoregions. I used Terset to 
convert Spain Ecoregions shapefile to Spain Ecoregions vector, then from there to raster. After I had the ecoregions, I needed to watershed. So I can overlay the ecoregions and create Spain's planning unit. <coughs> I used the ter set to create the watershed. After I had both watershed and the ecoregions, I created the planning unit. On Moxan, I used the habitat and biodiversity modeler. I then selected planning and thereafter I selected Moxan input and output. I specified Spain planning unit in the planning unit layer and I was prepared for running Moxan for the ecological unit. I ran Moxan and observed the results for both current and future project areas of Spain, for both ecological planning unit and systematic planning unit. I used Moxan to produce results for current and future pro protected areas in systematic planning units and ecological planning units. The planning unit for Spain Here we observe a watershed after cutting it with the adamant zero boolean of Spain. We use the watershed to generate the ecological niche planning unit for Spain. Here we illustrate the hexagons for Spain which was used for, for the systematic planning unit. The hexagons was also created in the program ArcView GIS. Spain's protected area has a total of 153,955 square kilometers, which of which 141,835 square kilometers is land, and 12,119 kilometers is marine. 29 percent of the land of Spain is protected, whereas 28 of it is protected land area and the other remaining 1% is the marine protected area. The following slides will just illustrate the selection of endemic species which were used to run the Moxan program. To run the Moxan program, 20 endemic species were downloaded, of which one was a mammal species, two bird species, seven reptile species, seven freshwater fish species, and three amphibian species. The species that I did not select did not show from living national treasures, did not appear on IUCN as a result of insufficient data. Here, on the following slides, we illustrate the species that are being used. The broom hare, the Balearic she wa shearwater, the Spanish imperial eagle, Spanish algerai yoides, <laughs> copentine rock lizard, Iberolo serta, Perna de Francia rock lizard, Lilford wall lizard, Lucio Barbus guiraonis, and Barbus grailesi, and so forth onward. Once we add the protected areas and the artificial land covers for Spain, we could then generate the 10-year passes and the 10-year maps. The 10-year passes was used in Moxan to analyze the current protected areas and see how sufficient these protected areas conserve the current chosen endemic species, whereas the 10-year is to analyze the proposed reserves based on the 20 endemic species.
as we can see for the systematic planning unit which we use the hexagons the current protected areas best solution shows a very low distribution of hexagons within the country and scattered throughout the entire country. For the future protected areas, there is an increased distribution throughout the country. The total number of unprotected species under current parameters for the current protected areas for the systematic planning unit is 16 species whereas for the future protected areas for the systematic planning unit there is a total of two unprotected species there is also a vast difference in total area of final and current reserves the final reserve has a total of 486,215 square kilometers whereas the current has a smaller 125,234 square kilometers. The same relationship can be seen for that of the ecological planning unit, niche planning unit. For the current protected areas of the ecological planning unit, the total number of unprotected species is all 20 endemic species. For the current protected areas of the ecological planning unit, the total number of unprotected species under the current parameters is 2. There is also a vast difference, an extremely large difference in the final areas of the reserves, the current one having the largest of 645,485 square kilometers, whereas the current protected areas has only 30,441. The current ecological planning unit has a huge number of unprotected species. In order to reduce the number of unprotected species in the future, all breeding sites of these species must be protected. The Spanish government must consider some of the land to be used as national and national parks that will conserve the species. Spain is a developed country and a government focused to tourism development and more than conservation. The future ecological unit shows more land being used as protected areas. To conserve species in these areas there must be a control of predation in breeding colonies that are identified to be at risk. There must be the development of awareness campaigns directed to Spain citizens. It is also important to determine the effects of habitat change because of the environment changing over time as a result of urbanization. In the systematic planning unit, more species will be protected in the future as I I have two unprotected species for my results. Currently I have 16 unprotected species and less land is used to protect the endemic species. It is always best to protect species by national legislation which will provide that future generations can have the pleasure of seeing these endemic species. We can conclude that Based on current protected areas in Spain, we do need new intervention and new reserves within Spain to conserve endemics and the efforts of conservation.